God bless you. Welcome back to the Code Searcher. All right, folks. Real short and sweet one here. Something else I've been looking at just today is tribulation. And we talked about this in the last video. Here it is. One verse I have highlighted so far. And just take note of where it is. It's in Joshua. Is here. And this is Judges. First chapter, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. Here we go. United States. In the blue. You got Obama's name and the green stopping right there. And then we got, let me just go off. There it is. United States as well. Crossing here. And we have uh, abominations in black and red. Abortions connected to it. With uh, judgment, you see here, judgment in the plain text three times holds with the pattern of three, but also as if God's making a statement here, folks. It's in an ELS connecting to the bet there, so we got a conjunction of words abortions, abomination, and judgment, as well as a year, a Tav Shenine Hay in the orange and black, right there. It's abominations as well here. Here's also the year, very short skips come up and look only width of 300 so this is a very small area all this is coming up we also got 2016 out here in this field it's not impressive as 2015 but yet it's still there uh, we also got Islam in here you can see in the brown and white with the Lama there but it, th this is also um, the sword of God uh, we talked about in the last one, the American Pharaoh. But one thing, folks, I left out was blood moons. Very small skip coming up right there. And again, we will talk about the, these verses and, and these two um, prophets as well, which is Isaiah and Jeremiah. And, and another video. I want to look at this more extensively. This area here is bulk. And search what's there. That's going to take some more time. But this was initially what we talked about. The sword of God. With the bet. And Obama. Obama. Black and red. And the sword of God. Um, the spoiler. In other words. Connecting to the American Pharaoh. That is a sign. Folks. That horse didn't just win all three. And not have that name for a reason. American Pharaoh. Crossing over the families 12 times. It's, it's there. It goes off the page as well. I didn't get to stress that enough in the last video. Um, but I want to here. 12 times? You're kidding. American Pharaoh. Connected to Obama. The sword. Ishmael's seed. War three times. From the beast. Or of the beast. Excuse me. Yeah. Interesting. Very small skip on that, too. That's considerably moderate. It's not as small as the 300, but uh, that's still respectable, folks. Uh, spans several books. Down here is Second Chronicles. Up here at the top, we're in Genesis. So virtually the whole Tanakh is what we have in there. And we also talked about tribulation, the end of the era coming together. Um, you know, I have another video out of... Um, that table I should have left it up there so you can see it which has all this field and everything is you know popping out of this one this was a really interesting one to look at when we did it small skip here 1543 is the width on this cylinder but again this always stood out to me folks why would God have tribulate the tribulation and the end of an era come together so precisely like he's saying look here three and a half three and a half you get what I'm leading to, folks. End of an era. Um, there's other variables, other other uh, data points to consider, which was rapture as well. Rapture appeared very small skip in this, but um, the, the most significant was the way God put this. He intentionally put this there like that, folks. And I'm telling you, it stands out to me. Um, you know, here's, you know, we're talking about Daniel for the most part, mostly Daniel. The end of an era, tribulation, that's a time, that's a period, a very you know, specific period right here. 
in Daniel. Again, one of the most encrypted books next to Revelation is Daniel. And Esther is up here. Ruth, around that area. But, you know, this matrix here, and we're talking about what you see in this um, this picture here. This would be your matrix after you find each one of the letters in your uh, access term, which is like a combination lock, folks. Any one of those missed, we would not see this. But there you go. Combination lock. God has this sealed. Go thy way, Daniel, and seal the book until the end of time. Here we are. And codes play a major part, folks, in unsealing the end time books. I'm certain of it. And I saw someone ask a question in one of the comment sections. Have the codes ever been proven accurate? And yet they have. You know, I missed it by a long shot saying that uh, the comet was going to be a deep impact into Mars. But what absolutely happened was the flashover. You know, in that table, we had um, the plasma discharge crossing over with, you know, collides, sharing the shin, in other words. And it happened. There was a scientist that caught that on film, went lit up like a light bulb. So, yeah, personally here, we've been accurate. Another table would be Sharon. But the rabbis, who use this more like a uh, divination method, because they do believe in witchcraft, uh, which is mysticism to them. But it is witchcraft. No Holy Spirit in it. They uh, have predicted many things. You know, Yitzhak Rabin was just one death predicted by the codes. Another was a Romanian um, prime minister, I believe it was. And the, uh, the, the rabbis got that one. They also predicted how many and when Saddam Hussein would attack uh, in the first Gulf War when he was firing Scud missiles. They knew exactly how many and where they would land. So, yes, is the answer to the question, have they ever been proven accurate? Now, for me, the margin of error might be larger because, uh, you know, I take into other uh, considerations some of the things the rabbis will not in their methodology, which is smallest skip and closest proximity. That is the basic method, methodology they, they look for as far as something predictive. But I don't believe God gave it to us as a predictive tool. Or, you know, you'd have... <laughs> so-called prophets on every corner, like tarot card readers. God didn't intend us to use this in an inappropriate way. But he does reveal. That is absolutely certain. He reveals hidden things. He says it in his word. In Proverbs, it talks about the honor of kings to search out a matter and the glory of God to hide it. So... Uh, for those uh, that like to throw stones and say this is divination or this is, um, you know, making, uh, using witchcraft, uh, whatever, you couldn't be more further from the truth. And it shows a lack of knowledge of God's word. Daniel says it. There would be those in the end times who would understand and instruct many. And those who would fall by the sword and by plagues and, and so on. Those are people who are doing these kind of things, watchers on the wall. So, hang in there, guys. Um, there's still much to be revealed. God, not done um, showing us things. You know, it says in Amos, God does nothing unless he reveals first to the prophets. And yeah, the office of the prophet is still valid, even in the end days. So, there we go. I'm going to ramble on uh, no longer. We're at nine minutes on that, so just another, you know, little snippet of what we're seeing in the codes. This is something I found years ago, just haven't worked it, but very small area, Joshua and Judges. Ironic how that is. You can see Judges right there. How that is. All in a small area. There you go. Shalom. God bless you, and have a blessed weekend.